Hey guys, today we are looking at the Westcott FJ lighting system. And Westcott was nice enough to ask, hey, you wanna try our lights? And you know me, I love lighting. And there was something cool about these lights that made me say yes. If you take a flash that's branded for Canon and you put it on a Canon camera, then everything's hunky-dory, assuming you can get the flash on. <laughs> you have manual control, of course. You have TTL, which is automatic flash, because the flash talks to the camera. And you also can shoot in something called high-speed sync, which is shooting at a shutter speed that is ridiculously high. Now, if you take the same Canon branded flash and plop it onto your Fujifilm, it will still fire. Watch. I prove it, man. I prove it. Uh, it's turned on. It's on manual. And hold on, hold on. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. So the flash will work. However, you lose the ability to shoot in auto flash TTL. And of course, no high speed sync. But you can use the same flash on a Nikon, on a Sony, and it will fire. Now, as someone that shoots multiple brands, this is kind of what I have in my room here. <laughs> I have a trigger for each of the camera brands, but Westcott did something cool. They made this universal remote, and this trigger actually will work on any of the brands, and it will shoot TTL and high-speed sync. And I think everyone should own two speed lights and a trigger when you're starting out because this is super versatile. Versatility reason number one, you have a backup. If one flash fails, you have a second. Versatility number two, you could have this flash on your camera and this one in the back of the room. I do that every weekend. It's an awesome setup. This one lets you be mobile and the other one is like a cool DJ light that you control. And the third one I'm showing you today, I'm putting the trigger on different cameras and I will shoot two flashes off camera. All right, I mounted a flash back there and now I have this flash here. I'm gonna also make this group B. Notice I just picked a channel 15. Pro tip, never be on channel one because if someone else owns these lights and doesn't change their channel from the default, you'll be setting off someone else's lights. Then I activate it by pressing the middle button and I can go up and down depending. Now, if you notice, I was on TTL and I'm changing the trigger on TTL to minus 0.7 exposure comp, minus one exposure comp, and nothing changes on the screen. Now, I actually thought this was a problem and called Westcott. Now, this is something that's great about the Westcott company is they have people that answer the phone. And I got to talk to one of the photographers, Jake, not Jake from State Farm, Jake from Westcott got to help me and he let me know that you won't see a change on the flash for TTL. This seems to be a solution to the fact that TTL would vary from brand to brand. So this means you can compensate for TTL differences on the flash unit itself. All right, we're gonna take the second FJ80 and stick it in this little budget softbox. And this is something that you can do as a simple setup. Here we got a little model here. Uh, very typical portrait session shot that you can do. One hair light and one main light. Okay, so let's grab this Fujifilm here, Fujifilm X-T3, and we'll show you that it works with all the brands. Okay, so we told the trigger that we're shooting Fujifilm. We now can pick our groups. A doesn't exist, so I could put that to sleep. B is 30 second power, and let's just make uh, this one be... 30 second power. I will focus on my subject. Bam, there we go. Now I could take the same trigger and put it on the Nikon Z6 II. And this is great if you're, you have a second shooter with a different brand. Maybe you're a teacher and you're showing people that have different cameras. So again, it's not automatic. I have to tell it that this is a Nikon. So I'm going to highlight that. If I wanna shoot manual, 30 second power. Very cool, very cool. So the system works great. I actually shot uh, a temple session using the FJ200 as the main light. I put this one in a seven foot umbrella, which gave me beautiful soft light. And then I used the speed lights, the FJ80s, as two other lights. One is a hair light. I put it in a little budget soft box like this, and then something to light up the background. Now, one thing to note, if you're shooting manual Sony, well, you could just take, where's the Sony? 
¿Dónde está? You can just take your Sony camera and put this on here. Everything's set up for manual and it says Nikon. Oops, we're on electronic shutter. Okay, mechanical shutter, bam. And we have the same sort of exposure here. So I can shoot the Sony with uh, this trigger in total manual. And since I shoot mostly manual, that completely works wonderfully for me. If I wanted to shoot TTL or high speed sync on the Sony, there's this little weird thingamabubbies that you can put on here. And then you can, come on, you can put this on here and then you don't. You can put the trigger on top of here. And now we can shoot TTL. Let's do it. Oh, oh, I have it on backwards. Oh my God, how embarrassing. Hold on. Oh, we got to change the brand. I was like, why didn't it work? And it should work now. And it does. So one thing I'm finding is uh, you're going to have to check online because Westcott has a list of cameras that work great in TTL. And TTL is not consistent on some brands. All right, so what do I think of the FJ 80s? 80s. <laughs> I love the 80s. I wrote down some notes here on my positives and things I wish that were better. So let's start with the overall positives. Actually, positive number one, this was at the bottom, but it's got to be number one, is the company. The fact that I got someone on the phone, the fact that I didn't know this, but I read the bio, they've been around since the 20s making umbrellas and the company has grown and changed and they're still around. There's something about that. There's something about working with a reputable company that's been around for a while. I like that. That's number one. We moved it up on the list. <laughs> number two, I wrote down value. Uh, for what you pay, you get an incredible set of studio lights with the uh, 400 series, which I'll cover in another video, by the way. The small light portable 200 series, which is a great versatile light. I'll cover that in another video. And the FJ80s. Um, again, are great that they're multi-brand, which is my next bullet here. So you get great value, especially for those of us that use different cameras. Uh, so I love that. Even if you use one camera brand, it's a good value. Next, I found the color temperature and the colors were consistent on the multiple flashes, which was fantastic because in the other flash system, the Godox system, some of my individual lights are a little off they're a little more green or a little magenta or one is cooler. <laughs> There's one I gel with like a little one eighth uh, CTO gel so it matches my other light. So I love that they all had consistent daylight color temperature that was a plus. The screen is easy to read. It's beautiful. The menus are easy to navigate. Uh, the touch screen is good. Just like every touch screen, sometimes you have to touch things twice. I, if you've been around this channel for a while, you know I prefer physical dials for everything. Sorry, I'll get to that in the wish things were better. <laughs> Let's stick to the positive. Love the screen. I put the multi-brand trigger system is fantastic. Uh, it worked flawlessly from brand to brand that I tested. The only little hiccup is the TTL will vary from camera to camera, but I think they've done the best they could with this with that whole like, hey, you know, set your Sony ones to always plus two. I like the battery design. I like that it, you could drop it. <laughs> I love that it just clicks straight on there. Click. Also this foot, this mounting foot is very robust. Uh, I prefer the twisty to tighten over any kind of unclickable clickable. Those can break. This is just a simple design, tried and true. If you had the MagMod system, it works on here, which is a benefit. And the last one I wrote down was the modeling lights are great just to see. You can almost use them as video lights even as well. All right, and some things I wish were better. Now, some of these might not be deal breakers for you. This is just a selfish list for me, things I wish were better for the way I work. I like to work super fast and I work in a stressful environment where families are late. You know, it's in the dark. Sometimes we need to adjust because the situations change. You're going outdoor, you're going indoor. They turn on incandescent lights. They turn off all the lights. So the first thing is startup is a long startup. So let me show you. So if I press the button there, I have to hold it down and then I have to press another button for it to start up. It still hasn't started up yet. And now we're ready to go. So it takes about eight 
nine seconds to totally get going. Now, it's not so much the startup time, it's that you have to be with it while you start it up. With a flash that has a switch, you can turn the switch on and you could be doing other things. You could be mounting it and then it's ready to go, okay? Uh, you can turn it on and put a gel on and it's turning, the flash is turning itself on. Here, I need to be with it. So that takes you away from what's happening as opposed to having a switch that goes on. That's number one. Number two is, I found that when I was using the flash, I realized that sometimes I turn my flash off to either take a quick ambient shot or I, t I turn the flash off to uh, you know, get a reading of the room before I need to turn my flash on and fire the flash. The problem is to turn off the flash is the same thing. You have to press hold and then it turns off. So now I'm waiting instead of just a switch, which will automatically turn the flash off, I'm sitting with the flash and waiting for it to turn off. So it might not be a deal breaker for you, but these things like amplify when you have to turn on three of them, when you're setting them up in a room or a temple and the family's like, hi, we're here. And you're like, now the flash is pretty easy to use. It's very intuitive. The menus are easy to read and dive into. Uh, I just wish there were a few more things that were customizable and uh, just giving each photographer a little bit more control. For example, Westcott has allowed you to change from this uh, integer system, one, two, three for powers, to fractions. I think that's an awesome thing where someone could just decide which readout they want. Um, but there are a couple of other things that are a little, that I wish I could customize. The first one being at the bottom to raise power and lower power. Look, I already messed it up with my fingers. It's to raise power and to lower power. I wish for me, I could customize the buttons where increase is on the right and decrease is on the left. I kept wanting to, every time I would try to put the power up, it was, <laughs> I always think of right, you turn to the right, the number line integer increases to the right. So uh, I find it strange that left is down. So I wish I could customize those to flip them. Now, the other thing I wish we could decide here is how much the powers go up by always. For example, here, Westcott has made it easy where you highlight the number and you can go up by full stops, or you can use the tenths and go out <laughs> up and down by tenths. Now, I don't work in tenths, but I would love, I don't work in tenths. Yes, I do, actually. <laughs> I wish that we could go up, we can make it just turn tenths off. I wish we can go up by thirds. So personally, I just wish that the interface was just a little quicker where uh, a group, once you touch the group, it's ready to go up by full stops going up and down. Now the round head flash has become popular. The Profoto makes a round head flash, Godox makes a V1 round head flash, and this is the Westcott one. But I personally, call me old school, I like stacking these in my bag. These are tiny and um, they're also easier to gel and they are compact. And so Westcott, make a traditional square manual only flash for me. Uh. All right, so two speed lights and one trigger can get you versatile looks. And I think this FJ80 is a good choice for that. All right, I'll see you guys next time.